everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope that you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always encouraging. And I'm Ricky Smith, your host. Today, you all are going to enjoy this. I want to introduce you to Mario Howell. Now, I know a lot of you may not recognize the name or even the face, but if you're part of the Faith on Friday community, you will recognize his work. Mario is our graphic designer. Woo! He's the one that puts all the names and all the pictures and everything on all the Faith on Fridays. So I wanted you all to get a chance to meet him and ask him some questions because at the end of this interview, all of his stuff will be in the description. Hi, Mario. Hi. How are you guys Hi. doing? Hi. How are you? Great. So, Mario, you have been working with Faith on Friday now for what? Three years? Two years? Two? Two years. I think it's our second year that you've been working with me together, and I appreciate you so much. You make it all look so good. So, Mario, tell me a little bit about your educational background and how you're into doing this stuff for me. Oh, wow. Uh, (laughs) You want to know all of it? We ain't got that kind of time, brother. Just (laughs) tell me where you went to school. All right. So, well, I went to school at Clark Atlanta in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Um, Graduated eons ago. Uh, Left there, did the business world for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hated it. Really? Um, Yeah. I hate the politics behind it. Mm. No. I hear you. Um, But I've been doing media uh, for like way before I ever went to school. Mm Mm-hmm. So after left school, kept doing it, uh, had some friends who did it. So they encouraged me to just keep on doing it. And, you know, the rest is history. Here it is. That is true. Now, when I got in touch with you, and for all of you who don't know, I have known Mario for um, ever, 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 ever. He and my son actually used to hang out together. And Mario and his brother lived with us for a little while. So, yeah, I had the stories that I could tell, mm, but we won't. Yeah, so, uh, Mario, now I know that you do the YouTube graphic design. And what else is it that you do in in this area? Uh, I do a lot. So technically, currently, I teach uh, animation. Wait, uh, you're a teacher as well? Yes. High school, elementary school? High school. Wow. Mm. So teach animation there, uh, video game design also. Okay. Um, what else? Of course, you know, video editing, mm-hmm. uh, web design. Right. Um, it's like a very broad, but not broad okay. uh, idea. Now, is this something that you actually went to school for that you got um, into, or did you fall into it? No. So, okay, I have to tell you a story. All okay. Right, so, um, I never wanted to go to college. Mm, no, I didn't. I knew that. Yeah, I didn't. So, um, freshman year of high school, they had this college day uh, at our high school. And I walked in, I'm like, okay, sure, whatever, I'll go. Gets me out of class. And they had Baylor University there. Wow. And I'm like, their colors are cool. They have a cool mascot. Eh, why not? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so cool. Real picky, I see. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay. I was like, I guess that's where I'm going. <laughs> and then, like, my junior year, they killed this basketball player, buried him in the backwoods. I'm like, eh, wow. I'm not going there anymore. Okay. So, my cousin came down um, to visit for the summer, and she went to Clark Atlanta, and she's like, hey, you ever thought about college? I'm like, nope. She's like, why don't you go to Clark Atlanta? I'm like, sure. But man, my mom had a conversation like, look, mom, I don't want to go to college. I want to be a hustler. <laughs> wow. Big yeah. goals is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah like, like huge goals. I was like, I don't want to go to college. I want to be a hustler. My mom's <laughs> like, okay, so what's your hustle? I'm like, I don't know yet, but I know I'm going to be a hustler. Wow. <laughs> She's like, why don't you go to college till you figure out your hustle? Then cool. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to be there the whole time because I'm just like, I'm going to get this hustle. Smart mom. Out. She's like, all right, messed around, never figured it out, graduated. But I was sitting in computer class uh, in high school. And my dad called me. He's like, hey, 
filling out your application uh, for college. You want to be, you want to do business, right? Yeah, sure. Cool. That sounds good, Pop. <laughs> She's like, all right, I'm going to sign you up for it. I'm like, all right. Because in my mind, I'm going to be a hustler, all right? Right, so, right. So I don't care what, you know, degree I go get because, you know, I ain't even going to get it. I'm going to get my hustle. <laughs> get this paper stack up. And, <laughs> you know, and I'm going to be out. He's like, he's like, so you sure that's what you want to do? I'm like, yeah, Pop, go ahead. Sign me up for that. I'm good. He's like, all right. So with Went to Clark, got my business degree. Wow. Like I said, I've always done this before that. Right. So it just so happened that once I got out of college, went to the business world, hated it. It was just like a natural gravitation back to it. Wow. So what you're saying is you never got your hustle on. No, no. Like, wow. It, it was funny, too. Okay, let me take that back. It's not that I never got my hustle on. Uh-huh, right? uh-huh. Hustle man, always gonna be a hustler. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but you know, you haven't found that that one hustle that's that gonna you, pay the bills. Exactly right. That you know, you can take this, flip that. Right, you right. Know, whole hood on, on pages, you know. Right? Well, I'm so glad that you went to Clark Atlanta and figured out yeah. that you did not have a hustle, and that you finished school. And your mama must be thrilled because you paying your own bills. Woo. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. that's the hustle right there. Pay your own bills. So, Mario, uh, when you're doing your thing with the video, uh, with the videography and the web design, do you use special equipment, or what do you use? Do you have a whole studio at your house, or what are you doing? So, the stuff that I use, yes, like you do have to pay for it, right? okay? Uh, an insane amount of money, right? But Cool thing about it, since technically I do teach animation in high school, one thing I like to talk, teach my kids is like, yes, is there, I don't even want to say professional grade stuff, sure. because now with the power of technology, like they sort of shorten that gap between like what's professional, what's not, mm. because I can go out and get a red camera and shoot a video, and the red camera is going to cost you about five, ten thousand $10,000 just for the body. Wow. But you have students all around the world shooting high def 4K movies on their iPhones, you know? That's true. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, do you need high grade equipment? No, like, like you really don't. Like there's free software out there that you can download and use and start doing great stuff with. It's all about the I always tell my students I'm like, you're only limited by your imagination. So That's it's like, good. go down the rabbit hole with me, <clears throat> you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Put your space suits on. You know, let's go space traveling and see where we end up. I don't know about you guys. Can you all imagine Mario being your high school teacher? Oh my I know. God. Let that sink in for a second. So I proud hate. of you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they have a good time in your class, though. Uh, after their, so since I don't teach like a class, I teach a program. Like right. most of my students are working for four years. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, it's interesting talking to my juniors, especially my seniors, about like their first time, like with me their freshman year. A lot right. of them is like, oh, I hated you. I was like, wow. <laughs> this, the one of the teachers, one student is like, I didn't, he's like, yo, I swear I thought you was bipolar. I didn't know <laughs> what to say, when to say. He's like, some days I thought she was going to be happy. But then, wow. like, I, he's like, oh, but we cool now. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, it's all fun and games yeah. when it's over, right? Yeah. So to see so, them talking to the younger ones, I'm like, all right. That's funny. So Mara, if you had to tell somebody that, you know, how you got into this and what they would need to actually get into it, what would you let them know? What advice would you tell them? Hey, look, do this and get going. <laughs> so it's a hustle. Like, Okay, and- wait, wait. You said it's a hustle? Could you yes. have found your hustle, Mario? So, hold on. So, <laughs> let me explain. So, sort of, but let me explain to you. So, the reason why I say it's a hustle is because here's the real reason why I didn't want to go to college, right? Okay. Now, I'm not telling people out there that, hey, college is bad. College is for some people, right? Sure. But um, the pipe dream of the American dream that we're sold of, hey, go to school, go to college, get a good job. Right. Like, we're taught that, like, if you go to college, you're automatically on easy street. You know, like, everything is just laid out in front of you. You know, 
Like you're good, you know, as long right. as you got the paper, like. You can write no, your- tell that to the guy that has a master's that's working at Starbucks, right? Exactly, right? Okay, got it. So, so getting into this field or any other field, it's like, it's a hustle. It's like, do you really want to put in the work mm. to sit down, teach yourself, learn the skills, you know, and it's a, it's a constant learning progress. Like with anything you do, like even with what you do, it's like, if you just took what you knew at the beginning and then that's all you ever learned, right. it's like, you'll be out of the game in like a month. True. It's like constant learning and stuff like this. So even with this, it's like technology is changing mm-hmm. like every day. So it's like you have to constantly keep teaching yourself and learning new things like, okay, hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? So anybody can do it is whether you have that hustle and that drive to go and be like, all right, cool. I'm going to learn this. I'm going to get this. Because <clears throat> my students, I'm teaching them video editing and we have – you know, brand new Macs in our lab and stuff like this. And then I have some students, they're like, hey, uh, sir, I'm like, what's up? He's like, can I edit this video on my cell phone? I'm like, do you know how to do it? They're like, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier. I'm like, so you rather edit it on your cell phone than this brand new Mac? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, as long as you turn in a final product. And then I get there, yeah. stuff. I'm like, you did that on your cell phone? They're like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's fly right there. <laughs> and it's like not just like the shooting but like they'll edit it they'll add like right. also like straight from their cell phone and I'm looking at it I'm like okay I'm like hold on right. I'm like what app do you use they're like oh I use something I'm like okay let me write that down alright All right. so you're um, learning from them as well right and like just just to see the fact that it's like we have over a quarter million dollars worth of equipment like in our wow. lab mm-hmm. and it's like they're using something that cost them a thousand dollars sure to, to push out the same exact product i'm just like okay i see y'all okay that's good yeah. stuff so you basically have a whole staff if you wanted to do major projects you have a whole staff to help you oh, out already yeah yeah and like the funny thing about it like since we built that relationship like they'll be so cool with it they'll be like i'm like hey guys let's shoot a movie they'll be like that Cool, let's do it. (laughs) (laughs) That's good stuff. So Mario, now if people wanted to get in contact with you because they want to use your services as a video editor or even as a web designer, how do people go about getting getting in touch with you? The power of Hollywood magic. Uh Uh-huh. My email, pop up on the bottom, right there. All right. Email me. Awesome. Uh, and then I'll also put it down in the description on the YouTube yes. channel as well. So that's yes. cool. Mm-hmm. You guys, we got a quick game that we want to play with Mario. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. It is called this or that. Okay. All right. Because this is just a way to get to know you a little better. Mm-hmm. So you got to be quick on your feet. You got to pick one or the other. Okay. You ready? Okay. All, right. All right. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. DC or Marvel? Oh, Marvel, hands down. Going to the movies or Netflix and chill? Hold on. You mean like Netflix and chill or like the, <laughs> the movies? Act right. Okay. <laughs> okay, then the movies. Okay. Call or text? Oh, text. Call oh, wow. Call really? Yeah. Snickers or Three Musketeers? What? Snickers. Oh my gosh. Jeans and t-shirt or suit and tie? What? Jeans and t-shirt. <laughs> Halloween or New Year's Eve? What? New Year's Eve. Cats or dogs? Oh, dogs. Ew, cats now. <laughs> Handwritten note or send an email? Oh, it depends on who it's to. I don't even want to know. Thank you very much. Moving on. <laughs> Hamburgers or hot dogs? What? Hamburgers. No pork on my fork. (laughs) And finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Oh. Oh, that's hard. (laughs) You know, growing up in the shy, got to be basketball. Wow. There you go. You all, this is my friend, my editor, and just my baby's mama's baby. I love him so much. This is Mario Howe. We are so glad, Mario. Thanks so much for joining us. And hey, everybody, while you're here, don't forget, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us a thumbs up and make sure to give us a comment. I want to hear from you about what you think about Mario. And if you have any questions for him, don't forget his information will be down at the bottom. Mario, is there any last words you want to say to anybody? Uh, 
Stay frosty. Stay frosty. You heard it straight from the educated hustler. You all, thanks so much. And we'll see you next time on Extra.